Okay, I'm definitely opening enough boxes to justify this being a full length video and not a short. We got something like 30 to open? I don't know, the number will be in the title of the video. And hey, welcome, it's another chill video. I don't like making too much of these, I prefer all of my videos to be of the quality and the standard of the last video that I made. If you haven't watched it yet, please go and check it out. I had a lot of different creators involved and I've got much more stuff like that coming in the near future. Here we got just a chill one, a little box opening, and a little bit of my thoughts on, on the game and content moving forwards. So first, let's finally spend these credits, which I have been looking forward to spending for such a long time. All right, first things first, let's get these commons upgraded. Are these donking sound effects new? I'm sure that's new. So if you missed it, I released a video recently where I had a whole bunch of creators in Marvel Snap involved, so a bunch of the other creators, and I was talking about price and how expensive Marvel Snap is. That video is not gonna hold up forever because the more new variants come out, obviously uh, the more expensive the game is going to get. Uh, and also I missed the season pass. I, I completely forgot to add the price of the season pass. So, you know, you can add about another 100, 100 pounds to, um, to the to the total that I ended up having in, in the video. But I'm super proud of that video. I, I, I'm very sure that it's the best one that I've ma ever made. Um, as is the way with YouTube, you make a video that you pour loads of effort in and it doesn't do as well as the video you released before that you didn't put much effort in at all. So uh, as this is a pretty low effort video, we'll see, I, I, bet, I, bet, I bet more of you watch this. Oh God, that's bad, bad foreshadowing. No one's gonna watch this, are they? Is that all my commons upgraded? Nope, still got more. I'm not a huge fan of this storm. Uh, that's not fair. I, I do like the storm. I just think there are so many amazing storms. Now, this one, I have been excited to upgrade since the moment I got it. I'm, gonna, I'm taking this to infinite today. I wanna take this to infinite too. This venom is incredible. All of these purchases that I've made that I've not been able to upgrade because I've not wanted to spend my credits until now. Unless you've been living under a rock, you already know this. There was a big series drop today where a bunch of series five cards dropped down to series four and a bunch of series four cards dropped down to series three. Um, and which is why I've been saving all of my credits because now I'm gonna spend them all and I, 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 I'm guaranteed to get all the new series three cards. And you know, I should get a new series four card too. And if we're really lucky, we'll get a new series five card, but I'm not gonna hold my breath on that one. Take, let's take this new Captain Marvel split to infinity as well. I actually think the gold will be cooler. I do think part of what makes this variant so good is the color. Oh, so Lita got nerfed. That was the thing that happened in this update. His power got buffed drastically and his ability has been nerfed pretty hard. I haven't really had any time to think about whether it's gonna be any good or not yet, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty interested. Anime Omega Red's pretty cool. Let's take the storm now all the way to infinite. Look at all my storms. Obviously with this update, battle mode came out uh, and battle mode's really freaking cool. Battle mode, is, they've done a great job with it. The game mode is fantastic. I'm not sure how I feel yet about the stakes doubling instantly after round five, but I guess it stops the match from going on for too, too long. I think in general, it's really cool. I'm disappointed that you can't progress missions or earn boosters from playing battle mode. Uh, and I really hope that they integrate like some sort of battle mode ladder at some point, because I think that, that playing like best of three, best of five, whatever games against a single opponent with one deck, with the sort of health snap system is probably just objectively gonna be the best way to play Marvel Snap. It's just a shame that currently you won't earn any in-game rewards by doing it. You could argue that you shouldn't need to have reward as incentive to, to play the mode, but I just think it's a bit of a shame is all. I'm sure they've changed these UI sound effects. Am I crazy? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, now we're talking. All right, I gotta take that to infinity. So far on 14 boxes. Hey, do I ever? I wonder if the best play is to leave this with the red border. Is that just, is that just better than taking it to in infinite? Uh, nah, I'm gonna take it all the way. I don't, I don't have the self-restraint to keep it. One rank before infinite, infinity. Okay, cool. We got a, we got a, we got an inked one too. It's pretty sweet. I think the gold one's nicer, so I'm probably done upgrading storms. Just look at this mess of cards. That's the one. Wait, what else do I want cool variants for? I don't have the boosters for Quinjet, that's sad. Oh, Adam Warlock's tempting. Yeah, let's take Adam Warlock. It's only the second split. I only have enough boosters to split it one more time. I'll do it though. It's a card I actively do want to have in, in Inkify or, um, 
or gold. Prefer be gold. I think I prefer gold over ink generally. And I realize that I'm in the minority there. Ink, ink definitely seems to be the most popular split type. We know that we're going to get another Adam Warlock that we're not super keen on. Okay. Oh, you know what I really want to have a, a good version of? I really want to have a, a really cool superior Spider-Man Doc Ock. Let's, let's take him to infinity. One of the coolest variants of the game. I really like Doc Ock in general. All right, come on game. Give me the goods. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we take that. We take that. Let's make him 3D. Um, so a quick word about upcoming video projects. I have two more videos planned about variants. One where I follow up on the short that I made recently asking you what your favorite variant is. If you haven't, make sure you leave a comment on that short. I'll put a link in the, in, in the pinned comments here. Leave a comment on that short with your favorite variant. I'm gonna be making a video where I, I read through all of that and actually like tally the results and also let you know what the other content creators favorite variants are. So that'll be a good one. What cards am I using a lot at the moment? Oh, I could split Odin again. Do you know what? Odin is low key one of my favorite cards in Marvel Snap. I don't know. It just, it's just really fun. I know it's really basic, sort of quite a new, a really new player friendly card, but when you really get it popping off with Wong, I, I really, really like Odin. I particularly like the, like the Odin, Shuri, Wong, yellow jacket combo, where you play Wong into Shuri, into Odin for a huge Odin. And then you play yellow jacket on the same turn for a, for an even bigger yellow jacket. There we go. Golden Odin. We take those. That is, that is 28 boxes, but we're not done yet. I'm going to open this rubbish real quick. I had a few shorts where I opened these. They were never good. So I'm not holding my breath. 200 credits. Hey, that's actually really good. That's the best result I've had all season. And 50 gold. Do you know what? We take those. Such a cool variant, dude. All right. I'm pretty happy that that variant is as good as I'm ever going to get it. I'm done working on Odin. Yeah, I mean, that's not one that's really worth upgrading anyway. 30 boxes. And when I finish opening those, I'll probably have a few more credits to open a few more boxes. We're definitely going to get all the new series four cards that drop down to series three. We're hoping for at least one series four card, preferably one of the ones that just dropped down to series four. And I've never opened a series five card. That would be, that would be, that'd be unreal. That would be like, I fall off my chair good. Let's get started. 100 collector's tokens. Okay, yeah, Luke Cage, yep. Yeah, of course, this is gonna happen one in every four at the moment, it's guaranteed. So um, that's, that's great. Uh, this is what we don't want. We don't want these, we don't want title. Big L every time we get an avatar or a title. Titania, nice. 300 credits, sure. That's two avatars. Absorbing Man, yep. Because I already have She-Hulk, so... If you snap, I s slap? Oh, I thought that said if you snap, I snap before. I guess I misread it. Well, great. I'm guessing this is... Oh, another title. Don't have a title like... No, I have got 50 titles! I don't want any more! Stop! 300 credits. 200 credits. Uh, Texas tokens. Another avatar. 300 credits. 100 collector's token, 200 gold, 500 collector's tokens. Another title. I'm losing my mind here. 100 collector's tokens, 300 credits, 400 collector's tokens, 100 collector's tokens, an avatar, 100 collector's tokens, 300 collector's tokens. 300 credits. That was awful. 30 boxes. I got like four avatars and four titles and no variants. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got another 1900 credits so we can open another like three or four boxes. Ah, oh, that's so disappointing. No variants. Oh, do you feel sick watching this? Comment below if you feel sick watching this. Uh, I'm going to work on winter vacation have any more. I like this variant a lot. And now what we got? Yeah, yeah, absolute garbage. Yeah, that's what this box opening has been. Ugh. And... Okay, we got one variant. We got a variant, everyone. It's a pretty good one, to be fair. We got, we got a variant. Thank goodness for that. Like, we take that as a dub. It's my first Kingpin variant, so that's, that's pretty sweet. Oh, I didn't open this box. It is... 300 collector's tokens. As far as the collector's tokens haul, uh... It feels like we got a pretty good amount. I don't really know the math ever since they've made it so that it's a range of anywhere between 
Um, 200 and... 600. I guess it was probably a good amount of collector's tokens. We got the new cards, which were guaranteed. I must be due a new Series 4 card soon, so I guess you'll see me open that in a short, in a few days. We can upgrade this Jubilee. Oh, she looks real good in 3D, actually. Let's take Colson. One more level. One final box. 100 collector's tokens. On the plus side, I, I gained like 3,000 collector's tokens, I guess. But geez, not a great show. Oh well, that's it. That's the haul. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Careful spending too much money on this game because, you know, you can open large chunks of boxes and, and be really disappointed like that. Luckily, I didn't spend anything. That's just the last, like, three weeks worth of boxes I've been holding off for this video. But I also hope you've, you've liked this sort of chill, just box opening video. I like the idea of only making videos that are similar to the last video that I made, like the, the crazy epic stuff, but unfortunately they don't do well enough for me to justify releasing those and only releasing those because they take me like two full weeks to make one video. Sometimes I'm gonna just make a video, sometimes I'm gonna have to make a video relatively quickly and stick it out there because otherwise I'm not gonna make any money. <laughs> but if you stuck around all the way through, thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one. And of course, a huge thanks to my Patreons whose names are on screen now. These videos would not be possible without my Patreons. If you would like to support me, do consider joining them. 